Okay, uh, just Mr. Star and anyone else, a quick uh, tutorial on groups here. So anywhere in Google, you mean your email or in Drive, you go to groups over here. And wait for it to load. Okay, so then you're going to create a group. And we call it a group name. Um, mine will be, um, let's see, I'll just go Mr. Mac personal project. Uh, I'd come up with a better name than that. I couldn't think of anything right now. Give it a description and you're not going to be able to see everything on my screen here but uh, basically that's all you really need. Um, you, uh, further down here you can um, I can't scroll down on my screen. Let's see if I can move this. There we go. There's other things down here you can do. You can set um, what that people can do viewing, posting, joining groups, things of that nature. Um, then you just create the group like that. Okay, so now I'm going to invite people to join. And um, I'm using the direct ad here system to some direct ad member so you start typing in a name okay uh, so you're putting in a name oops so I type in the names of my members and I add them you can type a welcome message you don't have to and I don't even know if Sarah's in my group but anyway I'm gonna click add and then she's now in the group so now that I once I add all my members I can click done here now this is a this is a group. So if I were to and this is a would be a group in um, in your mail. So if I go to mail up here and I were to compose a message, I could type it to Mr. Mac Personal Project at erschools.com or share any document with that group. So if you are sharing a document, um, let's see, I'll just share this. And you want to share it with your new group you just made. You go to share. This window comes up. Move this down. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Oh darn it. Okay, don't know what I did. Anyway, so I could say Mr. Mac. It's not going to show up right now, but uh, you can do something like that. Um, so that's the group I just made. I'm going to share it to the to it, and I give that whole group that I put in there, either editing or viewing is what you want if you don't want them to edit it, or you go to edit to give them editing. And then you click share and save and you're good. Thanks.